Cheers. Hi everyone, this is Caitlin Troy, and in this video presentation, I will be discussing assistive technology for computer access, specifically looking at keyboards and how it can be used to improve the academic success of exceptional children. Access to a computer is no doubt becoming increasingly important. However, not everyone accesses a computer in the same manner. Beyond the standard option of keyboards, trackpads, and a mouse, other options exist for individuals for whom standard options are not possible or who would benefit from alternative means. Examples of alternative methods of accessing and using a computer are discussed in this video and how assistive technology can support this access. It's interesting to reflect on the ways that we use computer-like devices every single day and how prevalent it's becoming in modern education. What if your standard typical means of accessing your computer was not available? This mindset will guide our thinking as we consider assistive technology for computer access. The common way for accessing a computer, desktop or laptop, are the standard keyboard, mouse, and trackpad. However, these ways are not universally accept accessible to all individuals. Modifications to existing products and alternative means of accessing a computer for both Windows PC and OS X Mac operating systems, along with built-in accessibility features for computers, will be discussed in this video. First, we'll start by examining a somewhat traditional keyboard. A keyboard is a basic computer input tool. The standard keyboard format, whether built in as a laptop or standalone like a desktop, is the QWERTY, Q-W-E-R-T-Y, whose name comes from reading the first six keys appearing on the top left letter row and reading from left to right. The exact reason for the QWERTY layout from the 1800s is 1800s is not known, although different theories do exist. However, a standard keyboard is not accessible to all students. Keyboard options also exist, including variations on layout, alternative devices, and adaptations to standard keyboards that we'll examine in this presentation. Again, technology is such an increasingly common aspect of education in our schools that it is extremely vital to provide the best learning environment through assessive assistive technology to support students with disabilities. Here we have laid out two different keyboard options. We have large keys, which as you can see by the picture is the traditional QWERTY layout, um, just with magnified keys. Um, the large key supports young children, as well as those with cognitive challenges or those with fine motor challenges. On the right, we have a color coding keyboard option. Again, taking the same layout with the QWERTY. Um, here you can see that the keys are highlighted with the different co colors. This is more typical with younger children or students with intellectual challenges to be used. Other alternative keyboards involve changing the layout of the keys. Alphabetical keyboards are keyboards in which the order of the keys is alphabetical as opposed to the QWERTY, Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Alphabetical keyboards also exist in which both formats are available. The alphabetical layout is dominant, but QWERTY is still an option. With such keyboards, users can switch between the layouts by pressing a button. Another alternative option, uh, excuse me, another alternative keyboard layout option is Dvorak, which arranges keys by frequency of use and to more evenly share the work between the fingers, which you can see in the middle picture. With Dvorak, the home row contains vowels on the left side and the most commonly used consonants on the right, A O E U I T H T N S. With the Dvorak layout, a user does not need to purchase a separate keyboard. Standard keyboards can be converted to Dvorak keyboard, keyboards by changing the settings within the keyboard's operating system and printing a diagram or relabeling keys. A Multron layout keyboard 
represents another alternative, which you can see on the bottom right. The Maltron layout is based on frequency of letter use and places the most used letters and functions where the fingers and thumb may easily and comfortably reach them. Here those letters are A, N, I, S, F, D, T, H, O, R. Some benefits to these uh, layouts, alphabetical supports students familiar with QWERTY or who struggle with that format. Dvorak reduces strain or movement as most key, use keys in the homeroom, and Maltron helps to reduce the strain or movement. One-handed keyboards are designed for individuals who have use of one hand. One-handed keyboards can also be produced with the QWERTY layout, um, but truncated so key let keys share letters, as well as with the Maltron layout. Another alternative keyboard is Intel Intelli Keys. Excuse me, Intelli Keys. Intelli Keys is a flat, touch-based keyboard. When one purchases Intelli Keys, the tool comes with multiple keyboard overlay options, including but not limited to QWERTY, alphabetical, and mathematics. The Intelli Keys keyboard can function as both a keyboard and a mouse. Additional features can be added to Intelli Keys, including key guards that help isolate separate keys and help guide one's fingers. An increasingly common alternative to a standard keyboard is a wireless keyboard. Individuals will use a wireless keyboard with, des with both desktop and laptop computers. With a wireless keyboard, an individual can move the keyboard to his or her desired location and still access the computer. A user is then not restricted to using the keyboard at a cord's length away from the computer. A wireless keyboard is relatively minor ad adaptation as it maintains the same basic structure and format as a traditional keyboard. Likewise, ergo ergonomic keyboards, keyboards intended to increase comfort and decrease strains or injuries are also adaptations. Beyond alternative keyboards, additional options or accessories for individuals with disabilities exist for the different keyboards. For example, key guards are plates, plastic or metal, that sit on a keyboard to help an individual better select keys. Key guards help to prevent a user from accidentally selecting an incorrect key. Key guards are available for different types of keyboards as well as mobile devices. Different key guards can be purchased to specifically work with particular apps for mobile devices. Another adaptation for keyboards is a moisture guard. A moisture guard goes over a keyboard to protect it from moisture, such as drool or something spilled on the keyboard. Instead of a moisture guard, another way to prevent moisture is to purchase a water submersive keyboard or a water resistant keyboard. The latter is typically flexible. Head sticks or head pointers, mouth sticks or wands, and head pointers also serve as keyboard accessories. A mouth stick is a plastic or rubber tool that an individual holds in his or her mouth and uses its pointy end to type. A head wand is similar, but instead of holding something in one's mouth, a sticker wand is placed on one's head, often strapped on. While these tools can be used with a variety of keyboard options, specifically designed keyboards for use with mouth sticks or head wands are produced to minimize movement. So to conclude, Computer and computer-like devices are increasingly becoming used by all individuals, including students with disabilities. While this video provided examples of currently existing assistive technology options and standard accessibility features for computing, technology is rapidly changing. And that is especially true for computers and also mobile devices. Technology advances increasingly provide built-in accessibility to students with disabilities to access and independently use computers and mobile technologies. Thank you for watching.